Hey everyone, I'm Max, in case you're new. In this video, I'll show you how to make a four-wheel drive, remote-controlled, space-themed rover that has spoke wheels. So, without further ado, let's get started. Start out by cutting eight short pieces of wire that you'll be putting onto the wires from your receiver. These two wires go to your battery, these two are for turning, and these two are for forwards and backwards. But we'll be wiring this thing up a bit differently for this vehicle since we'll be doing tank controls instead of a normal RC car. And then you can also wire two wires to every single wire on the receiver. Every pair of motors will be hooked up from a couple of wires coming from the receiver of one function. I'll throw up a diagram here on the screen. So you're basically going to wire up your motors and crisscross. Now let's attach everything to our base. And guys, don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell not to miss any of my new videos. Okay, let's get back to the video. So after making sure everything will work by connecting our battery up, we're now going to put a switch and a back panel to the vehicle. solder a positive battery wire from our receiver to either side of the switch, then just take a new wire and solder onto the other pole of the switch. Using some screws and a bamboo stick, we'll be able to screw our lid on and off whenever we need to. Here's just a quick test to see whether this thing will work or not with the factory made wheels that it came with and obviously it's not a rock crawler with these, he needs those spoke wheels we'll make a bit later in the video. Whoops. Moving on, now it's time to take the negative wire and the positive wire and connect it up to this little connector which will be connecting up to our battery. With this other battery, which is 3 volts, we'll be connecting the LEDs up to it. I'll show you how. Connect up the LEDs in parallel, which is positive to positive and negative to negative. Now connect the LEDs up to the magnifiers. Just make sure you don't get super glue in front of the LED, only around. Now taking a standard 3 volt LED, connect it up to the other two that we did earlier. Connect the positive wire from the battery up to the cathode, 
and then using a switch we'll be connecting it up to the negative side from our battery and then taking the other wire coming from the other end of the switch connecting it up to the LED. So this is where I'm planning to have that white lamp dome covering the LED and the switch right here. We'll be using 2mm spokes for our wheels. Cut a 5mm section off from a spoke that has the thread part on it, then do this 5 more times, making sure that each and every one of them has a thread on it. Make a right angle bend on one of the spokes that already cut the thread off from, and then cut it somewhere a little bit down. This will be inserted into a bottle cap, and then pushed into the motor shaft. Drop some blobs of glue into the bottle cap once you've got all six spokes in. Now let's make some feet for each and every spoke. It is optional whether or not you want to glue the feet to the spoke, but I don't want to since I might swap it out for something else in the future. <coughs> Did I tell you, you have to do this whole process three more times. Now take some Max Imagination beer caps, just kidding, it can be anything written on the cap, and then glue them on to the center of your wheel to cover up the glue spots. widen these holes so that we can fit the wheels on. Putting a bit of black epoxy in the inner part of the wheel that connects up to the plastic part from the motor will definitely help strengthen the wheels so that they don't fall off. So how to drive your rover, these two buttons here make it go forward, the other two make it go backwards, mine just work a bit bad so I'm not going to show you, and these two make it turn that way, those two make it turn the other way, let's go test it out some more. Okay everyone, that is all for this week's video showing you how to make this spokes wheel space rover 
that is RC and four-wheel drive, which makes it more of an all-terrain vehicle to crawl over any kind of surface, apart from more smoother surfaces. And as usual guys, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching guys, see you next week, peace!